The day after President Obama's landmark visit to Myanmar, everything seems to be as normal. The traffic is typically busy, and the newspaper vendors are weaving through the lines of cars and buses. The front pages of those newspapers, however, have history written all over them. Potential collector's items, every one of them. One day after the visit of United States President Barack Obama, most people are still jubilant and even a little proud. Uh, because of uh, coming to our country, uh, very proud of Myanmar. Myanmar In his speech at Yangon University, one of the central locations of the 1988 student movements, President Obama highlighted the importance of a democratic society and what it needs in order to prosper. As one former prisoner put it in speaking to his fellow citizens, Politics is your job. It's not only for politicians. You know, we have an expression in the United States that the most important office in a democracy is the office of citizen. Not president, not speaker, but citizen. I'm here to meet, you, meet the president in person. So, and then the important thing is the President Obama uh, show a signal to encourage the existing democratization in our country. While his visit was widely welcomed by almost everyone here, some critics claim that his speech did not include certain key points. Uh, actually, he, his lecture is uh, most of the issues he focused on democratization and political process. But I think he forget or he might be miss uh, one important area, it is economic development. Uh, he, he combined these uh, two things, uh, economic development and political development, but he focused mostly on political development and democratization process. President Obama's historic visit to Yangon was sure to make worldwide headlines, given it was the first visit by a sitting US president, and then he comes at a time where the country is rapidly changing. Now, the question some people are asking is, what really changes now after the president's visit? In the end, Obama's visit symbolizes the United States' hand reaching out to Myanmar, which is unclenching its fist and is sure to grab it in the new future. Saksit Sayasombat, Channel News Asia, Yangon.